welcome back to my English space. So glad you could join me once again right here in my cozy little English space. If you're new around here, then keep watching and I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you want to keep learning English with me and improve your English skills, hit the subscribe button down below right now. Thanks so much for being here. For today's lesson, I thought we'd talk about surprise, <laughs> yes, and how we can express it in English with the help of 10, yes, 10 idioms. So if you're interested in the topic, keep watching. Number one, out of the blue, or in a more connected speech, out of the blue, out of the blue. So, as you can see, we kind of blend out into of and the out of, out of, out of the blue, out of the blue, which is something sudden or completely unexpected, yes? And the example is, they were at their graduation ceremony, the head teacher, the headmaster was talking to them, was holding his speech when out of the blue there was this power cut number two to be taken by surprise to be taken by surprise which is again something that you didn't expect to happen or hear i was taken by surprise to hear that she did not like to travel she was so outgoing number three to be caught off guard, to be caught off guard, which means that you are not ready for something. And this is very similar to the previous one. His parents were caught off guard when he told them that he'd rather not do law. They thought, they always thought he would make a great lawyer. Number four, somebody's jaw drops. Somebody's jaw drops, and the jaw is this part of the face right here. And this literally happens, you know, your mouth opens because you're greatly surprised or heard something unexpected again. Her jaw dropped when she heard that her nephew, her favorite nephew, had stolen a car. Number five, to come as no surprise. To come as no surprise, which means something that you know pretty much know will happen. Do you know that she was recruited for an Austrian film company? Oh, sure, this comes as no surprise to me. <laughs> Make sure here that you use as a subject this it, yeah, or maybe the news, yeah, the news, this news comes as no surprise to me. It doesn't surprise me. That's what it means. At number six, we have the idiom, words fail me. Words fail me. And you will understand better this idiom from the following example. If only I could further describe the surroundings to you, maybe you could better understand what I'm saying here. But I can't find the right words. It was so, so out of this world. So words fail me, honestly. Yeah, so you don't have the right words to describe something. Next at seven, we have blown away. Blown away, which is the past participle of a phrasal verb, of the same phrasal verb, to blow away. Which uh, happens, you are blown away when you are thoroughly impressed by something, usually when you don't expect it to happen or, yeah, to see something, to experience something. For example, we could further expand our previous example by saying, oh, and their sense of community, it was so strong, I was literally blown away. Yeah, so you were so much impressed that you cannot even express this into words, so you were blown away. Number eight, one can hardly believe one's eyes. 
or years, yeah? Depending whether it's about something that you find hard to see or hear. And a small note here, one, respectively once, can be replaced with any possessive adjective, like for example, my, your, his, her, ours, and so on. And an example here would be, she could hardly believe her eyes when she saw that she had gotten her most desired phone, an apple. At number nine, we have take one's breath away. Take one's breath away. Again, it's about something that you can feel with your senses, yeah? So, they had passed the rocky formations when suddenly they got to the wonderful vista. And there, that really took her breath away. And this meant that she could no longer speak, yeah? She could no longer breathe. And finally, number 10, to be struck dumb. To be struck dumb. Again, a small note here, pay attention to the final B in dumb, which is unvoiced, yeah? So don't pronounce that B sound. Don't say dumb, B, dumb, but dumb, yeah? Struck dumb. When you're so surprised or even shocked by what you've just heard. And the example here would be, she was really struck dumb when she heard that he was finally starting to utter his first words. He had been struggling with speech problems for so long and she just couldn't believe it. She was struck dumb. A pretty short but I hope useful video for you. Make sure that you include at least two of these expressions of these idioms in examples of your own for further practice. Remember the word further? Hope so. Thanks so much for staying with me, for sticking with me until the end. And if you've liked it and enjoyed my video, please give it a like and subscribe if this has been your first time here. Thanks again and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.